Hey, what's going on everybody? Marlon Prasad here, your local Central Florida realtor, and welcome back to New Home Tours, where I'm gonna take you guys through every nook and cranny of these new construction homes and give you my honest opinion. Today we're looking at the Baldwin model by Meritage Homes over in uh, Oakland Trails. Uh, before we get into it though, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new home tours, and of course, if you're thinking about buying a home in Central Florida, then I would love to help you find and negotiate the best deal for you and your family. Uh, you can find my contact information down below. Feel free to reach out to me at any point in time. But without further ado, why don't you guys come along with me? All right, so the Baldwin model here is still, uh, we're still in Oakland Trails in Oakland. So for those of you that are familiar with the area, um, we're basically two minutes away from the Turnpike exit. You can get to uh, main areas in Winter Garden in about 15 minutes, downtown Orlando in about 25 minutes, Disney 30. 35 minutes the airport is about 30 minutes away great location amenities in this neighborhood we've got a uh, walking trail we've got a pool with a cabana area i love the porch in this model here by the way um, we're right next to west orange uh, bike trail so you can bike down into downtown winter garden maybe have a meal hang out come back so definitely a great option now this baldwin model that we're looking at here the elevation that you see here it's their C elevation. This one here gives you an addition of this porch right here. Uh, starting price on this model here, not this elevation, just their base elevation is about 317,000. This elevation here, I think it's around 326. But if you guys like this modern elevation from the Whitman that I did uh, yesterday, if you like this modern style, you can do this bungalow in that modern style. However, the starting price on the modern elevation would be 336,000. As of right now, that's to get a modern looking Baldwin model. So anyways, now that I covered that, let's go ahead and take a look inside. This model here is about 2,088 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath. This is actually one of my favorite models in this neighborhood. This is my favorite model in this neighborhood. Favorite builder as well too. So, and honestly, this is, this is actually one of my favorite neighborhoods because of the location as well too. So anyway, as soon as you come in here, we've got your coat storage. Love the wooden. Um, staircase here however with the modern elevation you'll get uh, that more industrial look which I prefer but this does not look bad so as soon as you enter this model you kind of get uh, even though it's the same square footage as the Whitman 2 you still get that same type or you get a better a more open feeling because of the fact that it's just so long and check out the height of the ceilings here I love the fact that they leave it open as well too and they did the same thing for the dining room over there but anyways let me let me back it up getting ahead of myself as soon as you come in here, this here is a flex space. You can convert this into a little study area. I like the way they have it set out right here where there's no doors blocking off this area, so it still feels open. We've got a nice little, I don't even know what you would call this, but this is a nice little bench area. As a matter of fact, this is where, honestly, I would probably kick it here and drink my morning coffee. Have that as my office desk as well too. So, and depending on where you, which lot you choose, you, you, might, you may or may not have a nice view. So a nice cons conservation view, so. That is nice. I'll take you around this way to get to the kitchen. So give you that full experience. So bam, look at this. This layout is definitely the best one in my opinion so far. Definitely let me know what you guys think of all the models that we've been through here in Oakland Trails. Which one do you guys like? But this is your nice little, your great room. So you can hang out, watch the game. Maybe watch some Game of Thrones if you're into that. I know I'm not, but maybe you are. I don't have time for it. There's too many seasons for me to start, so I'm sorry. But love the fact that the, oh, the ceiling here goes all the way up to the, the second story. So you get that real open feeling here when you're in this uh, dining room here. Even though it's a small dining room, it feels way larger because of the fact that the ceilings go all the way up. Now, one of the other things that I like about this model compared to that Whitman 2 is the fact that this one here, you get the garage detached, so you get this little breezeway here, and you also get a little covered lanai as well too, so that's one of the differences. So, let me actually take you guys out there. So yeah, so on that Whitman 2 over there, yeah, notice on the Whitman 2 here, you get a long, long driveway because it's not detached. On this Baldwin here, the garage is detached, so your garage is pushed back a little bit more. You don't have as much of a driveway. Here, I'll show you. 
I'm sure you can park two cars out here in the driveway, two in the garage. Out here you, in the Whitman 2 here, you can probably park four cars out in this driveway and two inside of the garage. So. So yeah, like I said, this model here, you get this outside patio, the Whitman 2 you don't. So that's one of the other features that I like. Also, I like with this one here, you get, you can have the um, patio upstairs as well as down here. You can leave it. It's okay. I'm trying to be quiet. Right? Yeah, it's okay. And here we have the garage. So, yep, two car garage, standard size. I like that it's detached, so you can kind of do stuff. You know, if you're uh, if you're handy and you like to, you know, work on stuff, you can kind of be, you know, right inside of the house in a sense. So, this mid area, I would fence out like the side to kind of make give it a, you know, a more closed in feeling. If you have pets, you know, this would be a good place to let them run. Notice with the Whitman 2, you don't really have a yard space for pets. So with this here, you can kind of lock off the middle section here and let your pets run around here, hang out outside, maybe put a barbecue grill here. So yeah, that's just another reason why I like this Baldwin. Anyways, let's get back to the tour. So yeah. Now this kitchen though, love the size of this island. They have a, quite a few upgrades like the under lighting and the cabinets and stuff but those are stuff you can always do yourself it's just the layout is what you want to look at really nice layout just good structure let's see we've got some storage here I would assume oh okay so here we actually have your water heater and storage the reason why the water heater is in here and not the garage is because of the fact that it's detached the water heater is attached to the home. So they had to find some place to put it and that's, I guess, their best uh, area that they can find. It's not bad. Let me know how you guys think, feel about that. This is your downstairs half bath and this is your pantry on this side here. So, so you can kind of have your office connected to your kitchen. You know, a little half bath there, so. Definitely not bad. Now, the HERS rating on this home, we're looking at 58, so we're looking about a 1,272 savings. HOA in this neighborhood is about $105 per month. That's including, you know, the, the dog park, the walking trail, uh, the pool and cabana area. Now, I want to show you guys kind of what the elevation looks like with the modern. This is one of my favorite homes, so, okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is kind of what the modern elevation would look like. See how you have that patio on the upstairs as well as the downstairs, and you have this little pergola on the top? So, and you get that sloping roof line with the nice bricks in the front. This is the C elevation, this is the one that we're in right now, and then this is the standard elevation that they have. That's the one that starts at that 317. So, but yep, this is the one I would recommend if you like the modern look, nice layout right here. It starts around 336, but under $400,000 and you can build yourself an amazing modern style home that's in a really great area that's gonna have a good upside. So let me know what you guys think about that modern elevation. Gonna hang out a little bit more downstairs here. Mm -hmm. 
Let me show you guys some of the included features. So we've got, yeah, 10 feet first floor ceiling height. That's standard. Yeah, the eight inch, uh, the, not eight inch, the eight feet doors in the front. You know, a lot of the stuff that you see here does come standard. In this model here, they upgraded, uh, they upgraded the baseboards, they did some quartz in the bathrooms, they did, you know, some cabinets and stuff upgrade. Little minor details. They did as well too. They upgraded the flooring obviously as well too. So yeah. Yeah. Let's go upstairs. Love the staircase. Definitely matches this model. This elevation. So as soon as you come upstairs here, so notice with the Whitman 2, they had a loft area. So with this model here, there is no loft area because they, they kept it open. They kept it open to the dining space. So I kind of like this, it's not bad. Because the fact that they have this little patio here kind of makes up for the loft there. But I'll tell you my complaints about that patio area in a little bit. But this is your upstairs secondary bathroom, standard tub shower combo they put quartz in here not feeling that color combination but I guess it goes with the theme of this home so this is not the master this is just a regular bedroom got a walk-in closet nothing huge it's just a little deep I actually prefer it to be wide versus it being deep but so this room here is basically right next to the balcony and anyone that wants to access the balcony would have to come all the way out here and yeah there you have it this will be your outside balcony upstairs balcony there's one there's a porch downstairs that you can hang out as well too so Yep, that's one of the things that this elevation gives you. We've got some linen storage. There is attic space. And the attic is well insulated with spray foam because this is a meritage home. Another bedroom over here and the same thing with the closet. It's deep but not wide. So, can't really fit a whole lot of hangers there but not a fan of that but hey if I was to buy this house that wouldn't be my closet so that's just me all right so over here we have the laundry room and a lot of folks like this because the laundry has a door here to the master closet however I do believe they said they no longer do this upgrade with the door there so I think this will have to be separate but anyways I mean it's nice it's not that far that's your laundry and then right here would be your master so all right stepping into the master we've got nice tray ceilings i want to say this is like a 16 by 14 room remember to check the link in the description for the actual dimensions i'll leave a floor plan there but yeah definitely has a nice open layout do you guys like having sitting areas inside of your bedroom like this i, I definitely do it's it's nice to sit down sometimes and not just always lay down so your master bath, I love the white on white, although I prefer, you know, maybe white on dark. But. So your, your shower, it's not a zero threshold. There is a little bump, but it's okay. I love the tile, the gray tile is nice. Got your, yep, you got your throne there, and then of course your, your walk-in closet right here. Just one closet. Anyways guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for this neighborhood and this model as well too. Remember, this is the Baldwin model. 
starts around 317,000. If you want to get the modern elevation, that's around 336,000 starting price, not including any structural upgrades, design premium features, lot premiums, or any any type of upgrade. That's just the base starting plan. As a matter of fact, all the, the ones that I've done, that's those were just the base uh, starting prices that I mentioned. Um, but yeah, let me know which one is your favorite. Do you like the single family residences, like the Montclair? or the not the Montclair was it the Montclair actually I forget the name already but yeah let me know if you, that one or the Bailey is your favorite uh, or do you like the bungalow series like the Whitman or this Baldwin here I personally I'm a big fan of this Baldwin I like the bungalows I like having the garage in the back and I like having it detached as well too that's just me um, I love this area great area you're about two minutes away from Turnpike so with that being said you can get to almost anywhere in Central Florida in Florida in general from just accessing that turnpike great amenities in the neighborhood dog park that's huge if you have a lot of dogs or if you have you know a little a small furry friend or a big one uh, there's also the west orange trail as well too which if you like outdoor activities you know you can go running jogging biking don't have to worry about traffic on the west orange trail so even if you don't own a bike you can rent a bike the west orange trail is literally right next door you can walk over there so this is a great area great location you can get to the downtown orlando 25 minutes with that being said almost anywhere that there's a job you can get from here within 30 40 minutes so definitely not going to be any complaints in terms of that let me know if you guys think it's worth it yeah just let me know your overall thoughts what's your favorite model do you guys like the baldwin or any one of the other ones do you guys like these modern uh, elevation do you guys like these modern modern th uh, themes but i'm definitely feeling it that's going to be it for right now I want to thank you all so much for watching these videos, for supporting the channel. Remember, if you haven't already subscribed, then go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any new home tours. So also let me know what other videos you guys want to want me to cover. I was thinking about doing some informational videos, maybe explaining a little bit more about the HERS score, the HERS index uh, energy efficient rating. I was also thinking maybe explaining like a CDD fee and you know, HOA, you know, pros and cons of HOA and stuff like that. But yeah, if there's anything that you guys want me to cover, just let me know in the comment section or send me an email, text message, whatever the case. So you guys know where to reach me. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Peace.